Okay, we have the uh, Valentine 1 Gen 2. We're going to run this again against the uh, unit in R9. But we're going to run them at these different systems here, including the uh, that Red Flex Halo system that we just uh, found out that was here. Picking that real super sensitive X-band detections on the... Uh, there we go. We got the uh, O95 from the R9 picking it up from this distance. Plenty of time. Now we're getting an X-band. Of course the light's gonna turn red. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to sit here for this. So it looks like the uh, Valentine is seeing four distinct, three, two, jumping around a little bit. This is a four-way monitored intersection here. I have to sit here and listen to this. Wow. All righty, finally. Okay, we're going to continue on to the bad boy up here, the Red Flex Halo system. Still picking up the uh, on the R9, the rear. MRCD, the uh, Valentine, no. Now we're picking up a 24-145 from the rear, seeing that. Here's the halo system. Very difficult to detect. Okay, we got the 24-062. Valentine is alerting. Good for it. Pretty close to the R9. Released it. R9 still alerting. From the rear, 24062. It's pretty steady frequency here. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. I think it proves the point. You gotta be careful if you're uh, gonna set some of these uh, K-block filters effectively because if the R9 doesn't interpret it as an MRCD or FMCW source, what's gonna happen is it's gonna filter out some of these low frequencies and you won't even get a K alert. So there's a lesson to be learned in that. Just be careful with these uh, super low frequencies if you know you're driving in an area where these photo enforcement systems exist. Okay, we'll make the one final pass here against these systems with the R9 and Valentine 1G2. I should say we have K-Verifier on because with K-Verifier off, the uh, Valentine 1 Gen 2 tends to false a lot. So we put it back on. And we're, that's pretty much how we're always going to drive with it, with the Cape Verifier on. Okay, we are coming back to the Red Flex Halo system. I think it's a pretty new system here in Paradise Valley. It'll save me the trip to Edmonton to get these bad boys. Of of course the light turns red. Here it is off to the left and in front of us to the right. There's actually two to the left. One facing this direction. Okay, the uh, Valentine is picking it up now as KA, if that's the one. 
R9 is not alerting. Yeah, so uh, tricky on the... Uh, Oh, no. I'll be darned. This could be a legitimate 34-7 source. So they both missed the uh, red flex. The Valentine uh, picking up that KA. Maybe the same guy. Uh, my guess is that's a height advantage on the windshield mount. So we're getting both detections here on the Valentine. KA's flashing. It's also seeing all those multi bogies of this uh, FMCW red light monitored system. There he comes. I can see him cresting the top. Probably the same guy. So both detectors are alerting to the KA, but there he is. So that KA alert at that Talo system was not an alert at all. It was picking up uh, that, uh, that officer with the KA running in constant loom. Can I attribute that to a height advantage? still but the interesting story here is that both systems did not alert to the halo system this time around so uh, looking at all these detectors it looks like the 360 does the best of these detectors when Mestifusion is enabled against the Halo system. Still not a lot of warning time. We're picking up the rear now of this KA system. Now the uh, Valentine picks it up. And I suspect this, this guy is coming back here again. I don't want him to see my car. So I'm gonna uh, get out of here. Get out of the way here. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Maybe if this guy is coming, we'll see about an off access detection. Just for the heck of it, we'll sit here. So lots of stuff going on here in Paradise Valley, as you can plainly see. This place is very much reminds me a little bit of like Edmonton, doesn't it? Yeah, heavily photo enforced on this road. Heavily photo enforced. Yeah, the uh, the R9 is alerting to that 083. No, it isn't. Yeah, right. Here's the uh, system. So the R9 first sees it, probably sees just one of those frequencies or whatever part of it. Identifies it as K first until it sees more of a signature to determine that it's actually an MRCD source. is still alerting to that source in the back. Valentine got a glimpse of it. 
still picking it up with that R9. 24095 now. Yep, so there you go. A lot to unpack in this video. A lot to unpack in these tests. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.